Hi everybody, this is your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. Today we are taking a look at from the Transformers Titans Return line. This is Wolfwire with its Titan Master partner, Monzo. This is Weird Wolf, and I'll probably refer to it as Weird Wolf for the remainder of the review. Monzo, uh, basically the Z has been turned into an X, but everybody pronounces it Monzo. As you can see, Wolfwire is a wolf. Great articulation in the wolf mode, ball jointed head with opening jaw, and Monzo can sit in the cannon, but there is also a cockpit there. We'll get into that with the transformation. So, this is, a, like I said, a very nice wolf mode, nice integration with the parts. Well, let's take a closer look at the figure. The one universal complaint with this figure is the inclusion of this oversized weapon since the original Weird Wolf gun which went smaller. This obviously had to be oversized to become the Titan Master weapon. I do like how it sits. There's many ways you can use this in both uh, robot and wolf mode. Um, but Monzo is like every other Titan Master. Unfortunately a little underpainted. But flip the arms down to the sides. And by the way they do peg in. That's something that I think a lot of people tend to miss is that the arms do peg in. Uh, to the face, and there you have uh, Weird Wolf's Wolf Wire's head. I'm not sure if this is going to get a new head in the Japanese version, but since it is a legacy headmaster, it does come with one of the Titan Master vehicles. Full disclosure before we get into the transformation, I did open the canopy here as well as the forearm panels here in the back. They are very, very tight snap uh, friction panels that I didn't want to fumble with them on camera. Step one to transformation is go ahead and remove the tail. This will become sword in robot mode. Uh, come down here to the legs. You want to straighten these legs out just like so. Go ahead, bring these panels down. They will peg into what was the, uh, I guess, the lower ankle, forearm, foreleg of the wolf. Go ahead, flip the feet around. Flip out what will be the robot feet, just like so. Uh, Weird Wolf does a little bit of lockdowning in uh, wolf mode, which we're going to see right now. Ooh, and there came the panel. Just does all friction, just pops off. Do open this back panel. This is where Monzo could normally sit. Go ahead and bring this whole section up. It will tab into place. You can then come in and close it. And that will bring us into the uh, upper torso area. The head and arms. Make sure the wolf's head is closed. Go ahead, flip that back. The wolf's, there are little slots for the wolf's ears to peg into. This is really cool with the arms. Go ahead, flip the paws up. They are on ball joints. Rotate it around. Flip open this panel, which I've already started, which I mentioned. Flip out of the nice robot hand. Let's close it up. A very fulfilling, nice, satisfying snap. Go ahead. Do the same on this arm. Rotating around. Flipping out the hand, just like so. And because it popped off, go ahead and reattach the panel. It does snap into place. And like I said, very, very tight tight snaps, tight panels. So what's left is we got to bring in Monzo here to form the head. Pigs on quite nicely. And there you have Weird Wolf, Wolfwire in its robot mode. Wolfwire is a fun figure and dare I say the best of the way. If there's a lot you can do, as you can see, this is how I prefer to peg the cannon on as a shoulder cannon. Uh, obviously there's a tight master in there. There are panels you can have it upright. The sword is really cool. There's a lot of articulation due to the ball joints from uh, wolf mode. Definitely worth a pick up. The Wave 2 Titans Return figures are hitting retail now. All retail in store, online, Amazon, Big Bad, TF Source. Just go ahead, pick it up. Fantastic figure. This is your old pal Chuck for Wolfwire Weird Wolf. We will see you next time.